In today's YouTube video, I'm gonna be trying out a full face of makeup only from TJ Maxx. Hello you guys, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited for today's video, you guys. This has been in the request for quite a long time now. We have gotten so many comments asking me to do a full face of makeup from TJ Maxx. I am very excited to go shopping at TJ Maxx today. For some reason, I feel like it has received not the best reputation in the makeup industry, but personally, I'm giving my, my disclaimer right now. I think it slays. I feel like people are convinced that all the products that end up at TJ Maxx are like old, expired, or just like bad makeup overall, when in reality, none of that is true. I'll get into that later on, especially considering there's been videos of my Morphe palette ending up at TJ Maxx. I went to TJ Maxx, right? And look what I found. What is this, honey? I was shocked, honey. I was in tears almost. <laughs> I will get into that later on in today's video because I have quite a lot of thoughts about that situation. Cross your fingers because hopefully we'll be able to find some hidden gems and put together a gorgeous full face of makeup today from TJ Maxx and also maybe not. Who knows? But let's head on over there and see what we can find. Guys, we literally parked the car 30 seconds ago and there's a coffee shop right there and the barista just came sprinting out. And I was like, oh my God, James Charles, I love you. Do you want a free coffee? Love her. Wish that I didn't have IBS so I could drink that. That's Maybe classes. I will. <laughs> but we've arrived at TJ Maxx. We're here and we're gonna pray for some good makeup. Can I help you? Sorry, you're walking like you have like a little weights on your ankles or something and you're a little mom. A woman on the go. A light, light yeah. job. Let's go. Okay, whoa, oh. I'm already seeing, okay, so literally, this looks so much more organized, so much better. Look at how like nice the palettes are like stacked up. This was literally like a, like a tornado had ran through this aisle last time we were here. Let's see, we need to start in order. So foundation, primer, oh, e.l.f. Camo powder foundation. Love Island, X Revolution, did you see that last time? Oh, do you watch that show? Yeah, it's like really popular though. I, it's like weird, that's we get fun, it? yeah. I, <laughs> I got a text. <laughs> Can I pull you for a chat? Oh yeah. Can I pull you for a chat? I want to snob on your knob. Um, I don't think they say that. <laughs> they definitely do. Oh my god, this, I literally have this color. Ellen Tracy Advanced Hydrating Foundation. Complexion Trio from brand Beauty Concepts. Concealer, highlighter, and contour. Are you fucking kidding me? Three in one. Oh, Nars. Oh, eyeshadow. Oh, and it's empty. Oh, fully empty. Ugh. Oh my god, Jacqueline Hill! What is this? Hydra Pout, Hydra Pout Lip Treatment? This Ellen Tracy brand is like everywhere. Half the things here are Ellen Tracy. Who is she? I lash a piece of from Creme Shop and love them, okay. Oh my god, these kind of, oh, these lashes are kind of so cute. We do need to move on to cart number two because we're filled up to the brim. You're the shelf and James Charles picking out makeup of TJ Maxx. Yeah. Ew. I said, oh, jump scare. <laughs> um, oh, look at this. There's, okay, we have an elf, cookies and dreams, just the cream putty primer. Oh, wow. Fun name. Look at that. Oh, we got one cup on the liquid lipsticks again. This liquid lipstick was like my entire childhood. Bow and arrow. KVD liquid lipstick was like my go to for every single makeup look. Oh, real fun. techniques. Perfect. Cleanse. It's like, a, it's like a sponge stone for exfoliating. <laughs> you could use some exfoliating. No, I look you good. Sorry. Let's just get one of that. Oh, we have Maybelline mascaras. Okay. Well, isn't that a slant and a half? It's called glam black. What does glam black mean in comparison to regular black or like dark black or pitch black? It's cold. Wow. I think we have our two cards ready to go. We're gonna head to the checkout counter, check out, find out our total, and head home. Who wants the card information? Thank you. We got the bags. Interesting selection. I'm definitely curious to see how we're actually going to make this glam work. So let's go ahead and head home and see what we can do. Honestly, should we grab the coffee before we go? Yes. I want a match. I know you do want a matcha. Look at there, babes. It's hot. <laughs> should we do a little sippy sippy? Yes, a of little, course. A little, what's the place called? Enigma coffee try haul. 
I don't really ever get matcha, but I like this one. This is good. I got a salted vanilla cold brew. It's good now. It's not gonna be good in about one hour from now when we're filming, but. All right, you guys, we are home with our $114 carts of our TJ Maxx bags. I was definitely hoping for a couple more of like some fun finds. I was looking for some more high-end brands, a couple of, you know, viral products, but I guess we'll have to wait and see how this makeup routine actually turns out because it could be sickening. And for only $114, I mean, literally, you can go to Ulta or Sephora and that total will get you like two, maybe three items maximum. So let's get right into this. This can't be real techniques. Oh my God, this feels like, oh, see this feels, this feels, Normal. This sponge literally feels like couch foam. And then this one, the, the oh, this is like a an exfoliating one. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go wet these, I'll be right back. I got my beauty sponge, feels fine. This one is literally the cheapest quality that I ever felt in my entire life. But then again, this package of three only costs $6. So I already moisturized my face off camera and we're gonna go in first with the e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams Just the Cream Putty Primer. Ooh, oh, that smells good. Um, so we're just gonna put this on the areas of my face where I have texture. Obviously, you guys know I love, love, love e.l.f. products, so definitely was excited to see a couple of these on the shelves. Now, for foundation today, we unfortunately do not have the best range of products. Uh, the only color that we could find that was even remotely close to my skin tone was this Ellen Tracy Advanced Hydrating Foundation Lightweight Even Tone in the shade Natural Beige. So this is the color that it's currently giving. I think it's gonna be a little, it's gonna be too dark. We're gonna find that out in about 30 seconds. I'm certainly not surprised that there wasn't very many foundations to choose from. That just is kind of what it is, but we're gonna try our best to make this one work. Being honest with you guys, this foundation is really not that bad. It's certainly not gonna be in my kit as my new go-to base. However, for a whopping $3.99, we have tried a lot of foundations on this channel that cost 50 times the price and are way, way worse. So I'm I'm kind of impressed. I'm kind of impressed, I'm not gonna lie. So this lovely trio of products costs only $4, which is honestly such a slight for three different creams in here. Um, let's start off with this contour shade, which looks so painfully not my color, it's not even funny. <laughs> that is literally like light orange. What? Girl, look how orange you look, girl. Whose face is this gonna contour? I feel like a color that's this light would be intended for skin tones even lighter than mine, but in that case, this should be like almost gray. Oof. Oh, I don't wanna look ugly today. I look orange. I look, I look burnt. I look crispy. The formula feels very, um, not good. It's not very thick or creamy. Then last but not least, we're gonna go in with the highlighter formula. Is this even, is this shimmery? And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in the high points of the face. Oh my God, that added literally nothing. None of these products have any coverage to them at all. <laughs> Cost me a dollar and 30 cents. So I can't be super upset, but of course I want this makeup to look good. I'm gonna quickly go in with my setting powder today, which is the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. This was $6. Um, hopefully this will look good. It's very, very, very light, but hopefully this might help us kind of even out the skin tone a little bit. So I'm just gonna do a little pat, pat, pat to blend out any under eye creases. And then I'm just gonna go right in with that same beauty sponge. And I'm gonna use this to set my under eyes. Um, I wasn't expecting that much coverage, if I'm being completely honest. What do I do now? Oh, fuck. Oh my God, what am I supposed to, what did I do? Like, oh my God, I really fucked this up. Oh my God, this is so bad. I just screwed myself over so bad. What am I supposed to do to fix this? Like, the base is at a place where I think it looks fine. So we're gonna go ahead and move on because the more that I try to fix it, the more that I try to layer products, it's just gonna get cakier and cakier. So I think unfortunately we have to just call it quits here. It is what it is and move on to the next step, which is going to be blush. Now I picked up two different blushes today. This little blush trio from the brand Nicole Miller for $3.99. We have some cute colors in here, but I also grabbed this essence blush as well, $3.99. So same price, Three blushes versus one. Um, a lot of people really love Essence products. We've gotten a lot of requests here on the channel to do a full face of Essence. So I think we should, let's try this one and see how it works out. And if it is not good, of course we have our backup palette. That's not blending very well. See how there's like a pretty distinctive line right here between the foundation and the blush? They're like not layering very well for some reason. That's odd. I'm gonna open up this blush trio instead because this is really, really not giving. Hold on. I'm gonna grab this like little dolly pink and a little bit of this one too. 
Yeah, I love her. This is cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, look at how cute this looks. This definitely. Oh my god. This really fixed it up. Hi, Kathy. Are you okay, baby boy? Hi, Ben. So this brow pencil is from the brand Secret of Pharaoh brow pencil, and it's in the shade Natural Brown. This costs three dollars and ninety nine cents. Lots of products for the same price, which I love. Definitely a good steal. Ooh, okay, the color is actually really good. Okay, that's one of the scariest parts about buying cheaper brow pencils. There's definitely some really great ones on the market. You definitely don't need to spend thirty dollars for a good brow pencil. Sometimes when you do go with the cheaper options, you do lose out on quality. And the first place that I always notice that takes a hit is always the shade range. This formula is a little bit more waxy than I would normally like. I like a more dry brow pencil, but it's certainly not bad, especially for $4. Honestly, not bad. Not a bad brow at all. So for eyeshadow today, we're grabbing our Love Island X Makeup Revolution, the I've Got a Text Palette. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. Oh, it's like a... Oh, you know what? Honestly, kind of cute. Like, it... This is kind of an interesting color story. That, like this bright orange is very pretty. Let's slay these girls and spill some tea while we talk about the drama 411, right? Am I right? Just gonna grab like a light cool tone brown and we're gonna put that right into the crease. The whole reason why we wanted to do this video today is because a couple of months ago, a video went viral on TikTok of somebody finding my James Charles X Morphe palette in a TJ Maxx store and posted a video basically being like shady, saying like, oh my God, I'm over, I'm canceled, I'm flopping for having my palette being sold there. So when I saw this video, there was obviously a lot of negativity and a lot of nasty comments on it, but I duetted this video and I was like, hi, you guys can dislike me all you want, that's fine. But like, why are we pretending like this is some like crazy, awful thing? Just to be clear, I have never shaded a single brand for being sold in stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, any of the sort, because I don't see it being a problem. I simply just don't. Makeup can be very expensive, so I am always down for an affordable dupe or a great discount price on a great product, right? The main reason why I don't see it being a problem is a lot of people think that makeup being sold at Marshalls or TJ Maxx is because the products are bad or that they're canceled or that they're flopping or that they're like old, expired, all sorts of things are all completely untrue. The reason why products end up at discount stores like TJ Maxx and Marshalls is because a lot of times the brands will produce too much stock. So a lot of times if a product doesn't sell out or if a brand is having trouble moving stock, they sell it back to stores like TJ Maxx or like Marshalls because making a little bit of money on those products is much better than making zero dollars with them just sitting on the shelves. So for example, when it comes to my James Charles X Morphe palette, that palette ended up on those shelves after being sold for more than four years four years. And once again, the makeup community moves so, so fast. So the fact that my palette is even being manufactured after four years is a literal like miracle. I am forever grateful for what that palette did for myself, for the beauty community, for my family. I mean, I bought my house with that palette. I bought my parents a house with that palette, which was one of like the biggest accomplishments of my entire life. But no product can stay relevant and popular and trendy forever. Yes, my James Charles X Morphe palette did end up on the shelves of TJ Maxx and Marshalls. No, I don't care. In fact, I find that it's a good thing. It was sold at $39. Obviously not everybody can afford to spend $39 on makeup. So if you were able to pick it up for an affordable price, regardless of the status of Morphe, regardless of the status of me, regardless of the status of the palette, it's still a really great formula. So to get it for even cheaper, it's a win-win-win situation. And I just don't see it as a shady thing. I'm so sorry if you wanted it to be that way. I got the eyes to match and honestly, I am not upset. I feel like they do look kind of pretty. Um, let's add a little bit of an eyeliner to this look. I have some cute lashes that are gorgeous and winged out, but I don't want to add like an actual wing to this, but I do just want to add a thin line around the lash line just so the lashes have like a base to actually stick to. Let's go ahead and give the lashes a little bit of a curl. Then we're going to go in with our brand spanking new Maybelline mascara. Maybelline makes some phenomenal drugstore products and I think that they have good mascaras, right? Which ones do Maybelline make? Or is it L'Oreal? The one thing that I always say about bad mascaras is that it makes the lashes black and that's about it. And when it comes to reviewing flop mascaras that do the bare minimum, what should we what should we call those? Because it happens a lot. So I feel like we need, we need a term that you and I know. Leave me a comment down below. Let's read through some suggestions and by the next video, we'll have an answer for you guys. Now let's go in with some lashes. We found these. It's either the brand Volt or Kala. I don't really know because it says both. Or it says both on the box. And we also picked up some Creme Shop um, lash adhesive. These lashes looked really, really cute in the container, so I am praying. We're gonna go in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics Hydro Pout Lip Treatment. I didn't even know this product existed. It's in the shade Pinkies. Is this like a gloss or is this like a lip oil? Oh my God, it tastes so good. Mmm, 
This is going in the purse. Oh, that was the gayest thing that I have ever said. Is your family accepting of your LGBTQ lifestyle? Um. When it said lip treatment, I was honestly expecting more of like an exfoliating type of situation. So I do think that I'm gonna take this off because we do need to finish this off with the star of the show, the KVD Vega Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. So. This used to be like the it girl shade. Everybody was wearing this color. It's like a very like neutrally brown. <laughs> I remember why I stopped wearing this color now. <laughs> it's fucking hideous. <laughs> All right, you guys. And on that note, I think that that is my full face of makeup using only products found on the shelves of TJ Maxx all complete. I would say overall, today's makeup look had some hits and some misses. I do think, as per usual, we were able to come up with a pretty decent makeup look in the end. I mean, this looks very pretty. The eyeshadow palette was definitely my favorite part of the routine. The shadows blended really nicely together and I do think we got a pretty cute look. I'm definitely looking forward to reading your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. Definitely let me know how you think I did on this makeup look today. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. Your love and support really helps me and the channel out quite a lot. And if you have not already, what are you doing? Come and click that big red subscribe button as well as the bell icon next to it so you guys never miss an upload from me. More than 50% of you who actually watch our videos are not actually subscribed, so come join the family. If you wanna follow me on my other social media accounts, my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok are all just James Charles, and my makeup TikTok account is Jaya Charles Makeup for more beauty tips, tricks, tutorials, and hacks. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I love you, and I will see you next time. Bye.